Hi, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Sean Piddock. I'm a neurologist uh, at the Mayo Clinic. Uh, I'm co-director of the Neuromonology Laboratory. And I'm going to talk to you today uh, a little bit about neuromyelitis optica. Um, one of the problems that I've recognized uh, with a lot of patients is that most patients with neuromyelitis optica are initially diagnosed as having multiple cirrhosis. Um, as I said earlier, I think it's very, very important that the right diagnosis be made. And the reason for this is that really neuromyelitis optica is not multiple cirrhosis. It's a separate, distinct disease from multiple cirrhosis. We now, uh, not only do we have a, a, a blood test, a serum biomarker, the NMOIgG, uh, that helps us uh, distinguish these two diseases, but we know that they are treated differently, uh, they look differently under the microscope, uh, the immunopathology is different, and our in vitro studies uh, uh, are showing that these are uh, different diseases. Uh, so, uh, it can be very frustrating for patients because oftentimes they are diagnosed as having multiple cirrhosis and they're treated with the drugs that are typically used for multiple cirrhosis, which are the immunomodulatory medications like glitirimer acetate or interferon beta. Uh, the problem with these medications is that they uh, uh, really are not beneficial in, in the treatment of neuromyelitis optica. Uh, the objective in the treatment of neuromyelitis optica is to try and prevent attacks because the disability in NMO is attack related. And so it's very important that patients uh, have the correct diagnosis made as early as possible and are initiated on an immunosuppressant medication, uh, either azathioprine or Celsift in combination with prednisone or uh, potentially rituximab, which is a uh, kind of a newer drug that's being used uh, recent, more recently. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's need for more work because these drugs are not wonder drugs. They don't prevent attacks completely. But I do think that the initiation of these drugs early uh, has probably resulted in the prevention of significant amount of disability in many patients.